90.3 KEXP, where the music matters. I'm John Richards, host of The Morning Show, and I am joined by the Juliana Hatfield Three. I'm very happy to say that, and I'm very happy you are in the studios today. You ready? Yes, I think we're ready. It's all yours. Okay. KEXP with the Music Matters, Juliana Hatfield 3, live here on The Morning Show. And welcome to Juliana, Todd and Dean all together playing that song. I, You're going to get this when people talk to you about that. But that's a song I think people remember where they were when they heard it. I had just moved to Seattle. And I, and I actually remember driving over I-5, heading to the U District when that song came on and going, it was one of those songs you kept turning up louder and louder. Aww. Plus you got to swear in it, so I thought, that's cool. Oh, bitch. The you bitch can say word, that, but I didn't word. know at the time. I didn't work in radio. I was like, right. that's great. I guess, I guess at the time that was kind of shocking. Was it? I don't know. I yeah. Mean, people t- m- mentioned it a lot, the, the fact that I said the word bitch. You got away with it. I know. You know what, we, I you're still currently right now getting away with it, by the way. I just I like know, to point just, that out, which is kind of nice. You know what? I have to say <laughs> that um, I don't. When I moved my distortion pedal, before we played that song, I moved the distortion pedal with my foot, and I think I turned the volume all the way up. So... <laughs> It might have that's sounded, a good thing. Okay. <laughs> Todd says that's a good thing. So it might have been um, extra, super extra soft, loud, soft, loud. No, that's Not on right. purpose. That's all right. I was just thinking about that song, how it got loud when I first heard it. And yep. it's good to hear it in the studios of KXP. Uh, you got another one? Yes. We're going to do a song off our new album. All right. Um, this is called Ordinary Guy. Or in Boston, we say Ordinary Guy. <laughs>
Juliana Hatfield 3 live here on KEXP in the new album, Whatever My Love. Great new record, by the way. Thank you. It's. Uh, I read a little review of it on the release. It said it's very present and alive. I like I that because yeah. I, f- I feel alive. I am actually alive. We are all, we are all alive. <laughs> I, can, I, yes. I can see you all, so unless we have the hologram technology for the reunion, I don't think you're lying. That's, uh, a, that's nice, though. That's a nice Yeah, review. I thought that was nice, and it, it really fit the music when I listened through it as well. And um, We're you not play- washed up. No. Yet. No, well, the, I notice the thing when bands get back together, too, People tend to think like you just went into like hiding and didn't do anything. Like you're just hiding for 20 years or whatever it is and then came back. But there's a full life going on. And that always is fascinating to me how you fit something that was from your past, like a past relationship, getting it back into your life. Can you talk a little bit about that, like where it fits for you guys right now? It seems to fit really well. Well, I I keep using the analogy. It's like, um, I mean, I was worried that we might not have the chemistry that we used to have Mm -hmm. because so many years have gone by, but I use the analogy, the tired analogy. It's like riding a bike, and it really is. When we got back together, it all came back, all the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know. I forget the question that you asked. I don't know. Which is where it is now with you guys because you got other stuff going on. A lot builds up over... I I think, like, speaking uh, for myself, uh, personally, I am a lot more confident and comfortable with myself, so... It's kind of more fun for me right mm-hmm. now to play with these guys because I, I was a, a miserable <laughs> wretch when I was in my <laughs> 20s. And I don't know. How's it for you, Dean? Yeah, no. it's good. I feel like the same way. The things have uh, smoothed out. I think yeah. We're all just a little bit older, but still, we. I feel like we're just, you know, the same people. So. And when you, um, what was the catalyst? What What was the call? I mean, you're going to get this question, but I need to ask it too. Like, what? where was, what was that moment? Was there one person in the band who said, hey, let's get the band back together? Was there? I, th- it, it, I think it was. We. Um, I thought about it, and I mentioned it to Juliana, and she was sort of lukewarm on it. <laughs> and then Spin Magazine did an oral history about the My Sister song. Oh, and yeah, I remember that. It sort of just got us all talking again. And then Juliana wanted to make a new record. And asked if I would drum on it. And but I said, it was going to start it out, I was just going to make a new solo record. Right. And I asked Todd to play drums. Yeah, and she asked me to play drums. And I said, well, why don't we get Dean and see what blossoms out of that. And So it happened very cool. organically. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't strategized. There was no master plan. It was just like, hey, why don't we try this? It might work. It might not. Like, fortunately, it did work. And yeah, there was no pressure for it to work. It was like right. we just went in to see what would happen. Yeah, there was no record label at that point or anything well so much has changed too in the, the world of music as you know i mean you've been in it this yeah. all this time and it is night and day although a lot of familiar things still going on i can't i can't say it's totally for yeah, the artist i mean at the end of the day it's like are you do you put on a good show live you know can you mm-hmm. make a good sound together on the stage mm-hmm. you know or in a studio that's kind of the bottom line. Well, and to it, feel, you know, I read these articles about the music scene now. It's like, well, bands now have to make money touring and with merchandise. I said, what is now? That, that this know. is how Did it's they... been for most bands. Well, that's the thing. I... I hear people complain about this royalty thing. I never met one person who lived off their record royalties 20 years ago. I know. Artists know. have <laughs> always been screwed out of their royalties. Yes. There's no, I mean, now Ridiculous. we're just... More aware of it, it mm. seems like. And maybe a little more screwed. No, may, no, re- it all evens out, I think, because a lot of the... Um, since the industry's kind of collapsed, a lot more of the pie is going more directly to the artists, mm-hmm. I guess you could say. There's less of a... The pie is smaller, but maybe more of more pieces are going to the artists. Right. So, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mathematician. When you Getting back to, to the reunion of the band, when you are younger and a band breaks up, obviously it wasn't... Was there so much you never thought the band would get back together? Like, was it a bad, I don't want to bring up bad memories, but was it just like a bad breakup and it's not going to happen and you were younger and now you're over it? Or was it, were you guys okay? I don't really remember what happened. I don't think it was a like, screw you, I'm out of here. I think it was more like it just sort of happened. um, And and I just wanted to try some new things, I guess. And and I never, it was never like this big break. And I never said, I never want to play with you guys again. (laughs) It was, I, I just, I don't know. How do you guys remember it? It, it totally just ended with a whimper, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I, I yeah, sort of disappeared. That's a good word for it. I disappeared, and then they went and made a Juliana solo record, and that was. But there was no discussion or anything. It was just there and wasn't. Now, a, and now she's going to do this. There wasn't a fax like yeah. the Pixies. No, like, it wasn't here's your. No here. fax. And then <laughs> the best breakup right. ever. We're breaking up. And then Todd <laughs> actually came back. We did some other stuff. We made a record called Bed together, mm-hmm. and we made a bunch of demos. And so, 
Uh, please yeah. do not disturb. Please EP. do not disturb EP. That's so it was never. They were never totally out of my life. That's good. So it seems like it's a very natural progression to be playing music again. And you have a lot of tour dates. You're going down to South by Southwest. And you must, like, when you guys tour now, you're getting in the bus or the van or whatever you're getting van. into. And does it, I mean, I think about hanging out with my buddies 20 years ago and you get in the car again with them to do a road trip and you kind of look at each other and laugh like, oh, here we are again. Does that, do you have those good memories of that? Is it um, nice to get back in the in the van? Well, we were on a bus back then, weren't we? Yeah. Um, it was, right. there was more... <laughs> Probably like, I, I prefer being in a van to being in a bus. Um, so I'm actually probably ha- a lot happier now That's with good. this situation. You know, but much more streamlined touring. I think situation. we all I think we all know how to not annoy each other now, yeah, which you is know, really you good. Get, you get yeah. older and you just be. Ho- you should teach you bands this less trick. Yeah. yeah. Like, how do you tour together? Teach seminars. It's just so yeah. much more pleasant now, I think. Yeah, I mean, there, there are actual moments where I think, gosh, 20 years ago, I would have reacted to that totally differently than right. what I just did. Right. And that's great. You know, yeah. So. Well, as if people aren't in bands, they, they may not know, but it's a relationship. I mean, it's those things you work on and you have those right. skills more as you get a little bit older. So it's great to see you out playing songs, both old and new. And you have some more new and older yeah. ones. You're going to play us? This right here. This right here is one called I'm Shy. It's called I'm Shy. It's from the new album. And it goes like this.
Glad I waited. KEXP, Juliana Hatfield 3, live here on The Morning Show. Great new record called Whatever My Love. Your first together, 22 years? Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Over 20. It's very impressive. And playing tonight at The Tractor. I want to remind everybody of that. And tomorrow down in Portland at a great club, Doug Fur, and down in South by Southwest this year as well. And you got one more for us, right? Yeah, this is from the um, the first album. This one's called Spin the Bottle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.